are unloading corn out of our corn crib though. So our corn crib here, it's this building right here, and we're right next door at the road. Uh, it used to be uh, used for corn before it was shelled, which means that the corn was still on the ear, but now the combine takes it off the ear, and we made it so this corn crib can hold that shelled corn. So we still use that. Uh, we wouldn't like, we don't want to use the corn crib for corn, but that's the only way we have enough storage. So, to run our augers here, we have our Alice Chalmers WD, it's a 1950, and we have an auger on the floor here that uh, has holes in it for these chutes for the corn to come out of this compartment right here. And then it comes in this auger here, out through this door. And to this auger, which goes under the semi, which this auger right here is being ran by our Well, we just got done cleaning our corn crib out here now, and we have to take three loads out of here because that is how much each side holds. There's only this side that has corn, so everything is done in here now. Uh, wish I could have recorded more while we were in here shoveling, but just trying to get everything cleaned out in there because we need to get done. So. It's all empty in here now, and. Now we're done hauling corn for a little bit until June because we have another contract for corn in June and this is the beginning of May that we took out our May contract right now and put some tractors away and everything and we're done for tonight and everything so guess I'll see you guys in the next one and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check us out on Instagram at Shank Family Farm.